Hey there guys, it is Ball from the Techite. Um, I just want to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to open SSH, your iPod Touch or iPhone. Um, before you start this, you have to make sure that you are connected to a Wi-Fi network. Um, the reason you want to do open SSH on your iPhone or iPod Touch is so you could file transfer between uh, your device and a computer. Um, preferably I'm using a Mac but um, this, this will also be doable for Windows. You just have to find uh, the compatible software uh, for this tutorial. Um, the other reason why you want to do this is to add apps or other add-ons to your jailbroken iPod uh, manually from your computer to your iPod Touch or iPhone. Um, uh, as I said a few seconds ago, um, this will be done on a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, you will it will need to be jailbroken just to let you guys know um so first things first let's go to Cydia or wherever you go download your um, apps from and um if you guys are a little confused on how to do this um there is a simple how to um under the Cydia section Uh, in Cydia. Uh, just let it load for one second. There we go, and then your how to, the open SSH how to is right there. Um, so let's go search. Um, we will have to download a system app called OpenSSH. So we're in the search right now. We'll just type in OpenSSH. And that's the first thing that comes up there. So we'll tap on it. And then uh, for our purposes, we'll, we'll tap modify and reinstall. It might be download and install. And then after that, it'll ask you to confirm. You confirm it. Not that hard. This is each. And it'll just reload. And then you'll just return to Cydia. And then um, you won't find any icons for Open SSH because this is an advanced app for the advanced user. And uh, there is really no need for an app for it. This app will just run in the background, so that means it will run as long as your iPod is on. So um, let's go to um, our computer now. We will go uh, download a little piece of software called Cyberduck. Here it is. And you want to go um, just make sure if you're going to download um, something that's not Cyberduck. I'll just show an example here on Cyberduck site. Um, you want to go make sure that it has SSH support. There it is right there. It says SSH. Um, so that means it's good. Um, and then we could go download it right here. So um, when you're done downloading, it's not a big download it's only about 12 megs you can go close this um, once it's done downloading it'll uh, the disk will mount um, you just drag cyberduck to your down um, to your applications folder and then you could finally open up cyberduck cyberduck is now open um, and now you we will have to go back to our iPod touch by the way cyberduck is a, a file transfer software now you know why it's important. Um, now we want to know, we want to find out the IP address for our iPhone or iPod Touch. And again, it has to be running on a Wi-Fi network, um, and, and actually it has to be on the same Wi-Fi network as your iPod Touch or iPhone. So let's go to our Wi-Fi network here, same Wi-Fi network as my computer. We'll go click on the blue arrow which will go to our um, stats here, IP address, etc. And our IP address, for, at least for me, 
you guys take note of your IP address. My IP address is 192.168.1.4. Remember your IP address because you will need to type it into Cyberduck. Now, what we're going to have to do is go click on Open Connection. Uh, when you go to Open Connection, a little part of the window, a little drop down window will show up. Um, we want to change this file transfer protocol. We want to change this protocol to um, SSH or SFTP. We'll go click on that. And then the server will be our uh, IP address. So we'll type it in 192.168.1.4. And then uh, you don't need to mess with the ports. You don't need to mess with the URL. Um, the username. This will be the same for all of you guys. Um, the username will be root, and the password will be alpine, no caps. Uh, I will put this will be on the um, bottom of your screen or somewhere around here, just so you guys know um, know what it is. And um, after that, just make sure that anonymous login is not checked and add to keychain is not checked. Uh, we will connect and possibly. Uh, it'll say that it failed or it wasn't successful. Uh, we'll just have to check. By the way, the first time you do this, it might take a few seconds, uh, but after after that, it usually just uh, goes smoothly. Uh, we'll just see if it's gonna mount. All right, connection failed. Try this again. 192.168.1.4 root, and then we'll just type in Alpine, and then we'll connect. And then connection failed again. Don't know why. Quick connect. 192.168.1.4. There we go. Uh, you have to make sure that your iPod Touch is not is not locked because for some reason uh, it won't log in when it's lo when it's locked like this. You have to make sure that um, it is unlocked and then it'll go in. But um, after that, um, if I if I lock it now, as you can see, it's still connected. All the folders sh still there. You could pretty much just do anything. So you could you could uh, I would wait to lock your uh, your iPhone or iPod Touch until I would wait till uh, it is connected, but that is pretty much um, it right there. Uh, it is open SSH now. Uh, you can access all the files here. Um, I will not show you guys how to add apps because uh, I have yet to learn how to do so. But um, it is worth saying that um, you should not edit any of the files in your iPod Touch or iPhone until you know what you're doing. Uh, this is because you might mess up your iPod Touch and because that may happen I must also say that I am not liable if you guys break your iPod Touch or iPhone. So for open SSH that's really it. Uh, I'm both for the tech guide. Please uh, go to our website um, that tech guide TK will uh, have some new news up later. Um, Go subscribe to our YouTube channel, and it's really about it for now. I'm Bull again, and I will see you guys later.